In this video I'm going to demonstrate passive range of motion assessment in the elbow joint. Hi and welcome back to Physio Tutors. If active range of motion did not show any movement restriction, you can give slight overpressure at the end of the range of motion and assess the end feel. If there was a movement restriction, you can still do passive range of motion assessment, just proceed with care. For extension, just grab your patient's arm, extend it fully and assess the end feel. Then for flexion, flex it fully and assess the end feel. For prone supination, flex the elbow to 90 degrees and then rotate it medially for pronation. Just make sure you assess the end feel and don't just squeeze the skin. And then rotate it laterally for supination. Okay, this was our video on passive range of motion assessment. If you enjoyed this video, you might also like the video on active range of motion assessment or the video on resisted isometric testing of the elbow complex. This was Andreas for Physio Tutors. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.